So we just had a video come out about Navi and how it looks like it might be disappointing, not everything that everything is gonna be cracked up to be. That's a gosh dang heck of a sentence right there, Brett. Anyways, Nvidia apparently appears to be experiencing the opposite problem, at least, because their process for producing Turing seems to have gotten so efficient that they can stop binning GPUs. In case you remember, friends, that RTX 2070, 2080s, they were coming in two different varieties. There was the, you know, binned A chips and then there was the regular garbage chips and everybody who bought the cheap crap would just, just ah, you should have bought a Founders Edition because that's an A series and it's overclockable better than whatever this is. And one of the rumors that was floating out there was NVIDIA was doing that because the 12 nanometer process wasn't quite mature enough for Turing. They were seeing lower yields than they wanted to. So instead of postponing the launch altogether, they decided to bin a couple chips so that you paid $100 less for a worse card. And then the A series chips is what they actually wanted to come out with. Well, according to Tom's hardware in Germany, what they're saying is that Nvidia is doing away with this process. And the speculation behind why they're doing away with this is because the process has gotten so better that most chips should be about an A-level chip at this point, And most of them are gonna be the same. That obviously does, uh, like you could think that, but then if you try to go out and buy any old, you know, RTX card that's out on the market, you're probably still gonna get one of the bin chips, either the a or the non-A series, which will have a practical difference between the two. But hopefully within the coming months, all of the cards will just have a normal, you know, TU-102 chip and not actually have to be TU-102A and you paying $100 for more performance. Instead, you're just paying $100 for no good reason, which as we all know is what Nvidia wants so that they can keep their shareholders happy. And that's how they crush AMD. They just take in all the money and then they punch AMD in the face and rinse and repeat. That's how you do it all day, every day. But I'm curious, does this affect any of you? Did you buy a specifically A bin chip because because it was something that you uh, you you know you wanted to, to get the best card possible. Did you even know Nvidia was doing these, and that like you were just like I'm just buying an RTX 2070? I didn't realize that there was a difference between the two. Besides the fact that they're trying to make me pay more money, I'm curious to hear. Did you actually have an implementation of this? And if you did buy a specifically binned A chip, are you now slightly upset because the normal chips are going to be the A chips, and you could have spent a hundred less dollars? I don't know. It doesn't seem like AIB partners have really been pushing that because they're usually pu putting the A bin chips on their best cards anyway. So like the Strix from Asus or the Gaming X Trio from MSI, those were running A bin chips and you were gonna pay more for them anyways, even if they weren't bin GPUs because the cooler costs more, they're trying to sell it as a flagship. So they're always going to overcharge you for it, even though it's the exact same thing under the hood. And maybe this just brings up the lower levels a little bit more. I'm keen to hear from you. What do you think down below in the comments? Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode of Hot News. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett. Love you too. Bye.